In the heart of a desolate town, surrounded by a shroud of mist and an aura of dread, loomed the abandoned asylum. The mere mention of its name sent shivers down the spines of the bravest souls. This asylum, once a place of despair and suffering for the mentally ill, had been vacant four decades, cloaked in urban legends and tales of a haunting nature. A group of adventurous friends, led by the fearless Amy, decided to explore the asylum on a moonlit night. Armed with flashlights, cameras, and their courage, they entered the crumbling building. The air inside was heavy, laced with the past agonies of the patients who had once called it home. As they ventured deeper into the asylum, eerie whispers echoed through the halls, chilling their bones. The group ignored the unease, chalking it up to the wind. They reached the old patient wards, where rusted beds and decaying furniture hinted at the horrors that took place here. Suddenly, they heard the sound of footsteps, distinct and deliberate. Panic gripped them, as they realized they were not alone. They turned off their flashlights, huddled together, and strained their ears to listen. A guttural moan pierced the darkness, sending them into a state of dread. In the dim light, they glimpsed shadowy figures moving in the corridors. The apparitions of patients, tortured souls from the asylum's past, seemed to materialize. They could almost hear their anguished cries, pleading for release from their eternal torment. Fighting their fear, they pressed on, capturing chilling EVP electronic voice phenomena, recordings, and ghostly images on their cameras. The asylum seemed to come alive with an otherworldly energy. Lights flickering, doors slamming shut, and unexplained cold spots chilling the air. One by one, the friends felt an unnatural presence close by. They felt icy breath on their necks, the sensation of being watched, and whispers in a language they couldn't comprehend. Their fear grew exponentially as they struggled to maintain their composure. As they reached the center of the asylum, the entity's presence intensified. An invisible force seemed to push and pull them, playing a malevolent game. Amy bravely shouted, We mean no harm. We only want to understand your pain and suffering. In response, a chilling voice echoed in the darkness, recounting tales of torment and despair, revealing the tragic stories of the asylum's tormented souls. The friends were overcome with empathy and sadness for the lost souls trapped within the walls. Fearing for their safety, they hurriedly made their way towards the exit. The asylum seemed to resist their departure, but they managed to break free from its clutches. As they stepped into the moonlit night, they felt a mixture of relief and sorrow for the spirits they had encountered. The memory of that fateful night haunted them forever, leaving them with a newfound respect for the supernatural and a deep understanding of the pain that lingered within the walls of the abandoned asylum. The tormented souls would forever remain etched in their minds, a testament to the darkness that can still manifest in the realm of the living.